Hello everyone, one more roll here. Today I'm going to teach you how to reach Mach 13 in the Dark Star. The game wants to max you out at Mach 10, but you can actually reach Mach 13, and in this video I'll teach you how to do that. The first step to doing this is reaching max altitude with max speed, which is 275,000 feet going Mach 10. If you need a tutorial on how to do that, I'll link it in the description. The first step is to turn on autopilot, then turn it back off really quickly. And for me, this is left stick on the Xbox, basically just turn on flight assistant then turn it off really quick. What this will do is this will automatically turn on the jet engines which aren't supposed to be on at this altitude and this allows you to kind of break the game in a way and use the jet engines and give you that additional thrust that you wouldn't have otherwise. Another very important thing that you must do with this step is you must quickly throttle back up to 100% once you have turned off the flight assistant and turn it back on. So the steps are turn it off, turn it on, and then quickly throttle back up to 100%. The third step is once the jet engines spool up all the way, and the important thing is all the way, then you turn off the scramjet. And in this video, it took me a while for the jet engines to actually fully spin up. So give it some time, be patient with it, let the needle go all the way to max, and then you can turn off the scramjets. Once you disable the scramjet, what you want to do is immediately throttle back down to 25%. If you leave it at max or too high, the physics will start going insane and the jet will just start freaking out. So if you actually want to be able to fly and use the Dark Star properly at Mach 13, you're going to want to throttle this back down to 25%. And in this video, all these steps are perfectly laid out and what worked for me. So watch the video as well to get a better idea of what's going on. What I would recommend doing once you reach Mach 13 is go ahead and press start and then make sure you save this as a flight plan. So whenever you want to use this and go Mach 13, you can just load it up and you'll be in space going Mach 13 and you don't have to worry about having to get this all set up again. If you guys enjoy quick Microsoft Flight Sim videos and tutorials, feel free to like, subscribe. Thank you all.